sister that my dad made. Come here. Whoa. What's that? An engine. What's it do? Launches the roller coaster. What do you mean launches the roller coaster? How does that work? Um, this thing spins really fast and it spins the belt on the wheel and then this thing um, pushes it down. And then it tightens this thing. So, it just, so this will spin and then it goes right here and it goes up to the ropes. Over to the there. Whoa! What's that? Nice. Is there anything cool about this hill right here? What's that? It just goes up and it looks like you as you do strips you're facing that scene. Oh yeah. And it just goes Oh um and then it just turns over the head. Cool. Maya, are you about to ride your dad's roller coaster? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Cool. Have you been on it before? No. You must be super excited. Yeah. How fast do you think it'll go? Really fast. Oh, I think it'll be slow. Not even worth writing about. Ready? Yes. Any last words? No. Do you have your will together? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Josiah, how was it? Was it fast? Yes. Really fast? Yeah. Were you scared? Or was it just exciting? Yeah. Was it just exciting for you? Oh, okay. Were there any parts that made you extra scared? Uh huh. Your launch coaster. This is my launch coaster, and I want to show you exactly how it works. So, uh, how it works is we got a, a 500 horsepower engine from you know Harbor Freight, and it's got a uh, V belt on it, and it, it drives a shaft here that's connected to the capstan, which is just a uh, you know a fun title for something that winds rope. And as we were to pull this, oops, excuse me, mm -hmm. it would. Wind like that and pull the roller coaster up the hill. So uh, the rope here goes in a large uh, triangular pattern, really, uh, up to the top where it would pull. This is where the cart would attach, and it goes down to the base and then comes back up right here and then goes back to the cap stand. So that's a complete loop. And because it's difficult to connect and disconnect from the cart, we actually have to have a non-continuous uh, use, so we actually have to back this up at the end. If anybody has a great idea on how to connect and disconnect, or I can just let the rope go continuously, let me know, and uh, we'll talk, royalties or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hey, leave your comments for that. Uh, as far as the, the rest of it goes, we have a, a tensioner here, so the V-belt is slack, and then what makes it go once I start up the engine is putting tension on this shiv right here 
and that connects the two uh, spindles together and then launching occurs. Now I'm pretty lazy and I don't really pay attention much, plus it's a roller coaster. So I don't wanna make sure that I don't have the cart connection go up into that pulley. So what I have here is a switch right there that when the cart hits that, it will actually shut off the engine. And it does that by means of this control box right here. I have an e-stop on the control box and a reset right here. And if that light is not on, this motor, this engine will not start. So the engine won't start unless this light is on. And as soon as the cart comes up, it'll trip the switch and the light goes off, the engine is dead. Now you may be saying, well, what about security? Anybody can come out here and do this. Well, it's actually powered off my old uh, drill battery. It has to go in here, and if the drill battery is not in there, no matter how many times I push that button, there's no power to it, and it hmm. does not work. So, hey, and the light still works too. The other thing I have for security is the cart is actually chained to the coaster itself uh, at night or when I'm not using it so that nobody else can just come out and have some fun with it.